hello guys and welcome back to the second episode of unit 3 so uh, the first thing that I would love you guys to know or to do I would love you to go straight to this uh, you click control C then you go straight to new composition we can call this one background I'm just call it like a background as you already know that the frame rate that you will be using is called frame rate 24 and you already know the seconds that we're going with is five seconds then we can click option okay then we click control v and we click control paste then um before anything we will be just using this click this uh thing you just put it all over all over everything you just click option there you click change fill so now we'll be using the color that we never used of which we're going to gradient then from gradient we have this arrow going that side we we'll take this arrow we put it uh, that way then we we'll take this we we'll just put it that way then we we'll push it a little bit a little bit uh, this way then what we'll be doing we we'll just take this one push it like this push it um, move it uh, top like this then we gotta click that small triangle there click, click it then you come here so here we want it to be less blue then you click ok then from this side you want it to be super blue then you just click there then you go straight to the super blue color click ok then you click ok then boom that is how like the first background your background will be then you just double click then you can write just rename it sky then you click ok then you can click that control x then you control v you go straight to your cartoon click control x, x then you click control v so what i just did i just wanted my cartoon to be on top so then the next thing i'll be doing i'll just take my cartoon just putting like this then i'll be stretching uh, my picture a very big right now last time i didn't stretch it big right but now i have to stretch it big then i'll just be doing it like this just to make sure it fills it fill all that area then i'll just also stretch it a little bit upwards then i'll just zoom it so the first thing that i would love like to draw uh, is this uh, side kind of a bush so we can use uh, so many things to draw the bush but for now i'll be using a pencil and i will just click this and i will just click black for my apply then um then we go straight to our bush so we can just for the bush just do it like this then this is what will appear then you can just click the pencil just you can click just like that and that's all for your push then you can write this um, lining lining push then you can just take this then you put it straight below this then you can double click then you can name like your main push or your main tree whatever you call it then you can just click option here you go straight here then you come straight to solid you click straight to that black then you click this thing then you go straight there then you push it a little bit upwards and put this a little bit downwards then you can just click ok then that will be our push someone will say like why is it cutting there so i'll be dealing with that you don't have to stress about that i'll show you how to deal with it then the next thing that we'll be doing mm, we'll be using this then uh, we'll be just drawing a very straight line from here to here to here to there then we'll be just doing it like this just to give it a little bit of a depth then that's all you just click go straight to select then you just so 
double click it then you I really hate those thing when it comes to the background just take that thing and just push it upwards then you can just take this push it a little bit backwards I'll just love to leave it like that then I'll just click here I'll go straight to my conversation one I don't need this conversation I don't know why is it still there and I'll go straight to my track feed then I'll just come here just draw like as actually should go to that click that click option then I'll just go to my fill then I'll just click that thing then I'll just copy that color then I can go to my background just to change the color of my background change fill then you just paste the color you took there uh, secondly another thing you love to do is the original we are gonna be using our our outline there then another thing is you already do now we just gotta change that to 50 then uh, we gotta be drawing uh, this pole now let's get it let's draw that pole so I'll be drawing it like this I'll start from here I'll come here then I will just surround it like that then I'll just go down I'll show you the trick uh, some few tricks just make sure like you end straightly next to that specific point then um, you can just click select then you can just click option you can go to change fill you can just use like the same color just click uh, I'll love it to be a little bit darker right now and then click ok and you can add like your your outline on it just to give it a little bit of a compliment you can come here then you can just draw a line from here to there then uh, you can say um, pull line and you can say uh, I don't know what you call, call this but I'll just write it in my home language I don't want even to pronounce it just I'll write it in my home language then we're done with it then we'll be using um, we'll be making those things then we just click ctrl C ctrl V we go to select then we just take it and we put it there ctrl C ctrl V we gotta we were just taking whatever we did and put it in different areas that's what we'll be doing right now just make sure like when you're putting them you're putting them below you can just select three of them you click ctrl c ctrl v and um, you will be just moving all of them at the same time So we can go and paste them on this side. And I can draw one here, a small one. And I can also do the same here below. For this one, I feel like it's too big. 
So I gotta just do click it and I'll just drop it like that. Then I can just click on the C control V just to take it again. You know, just click control C control V. Then just to take it again. Just click control C control V just to take it again. Just click control C click control V to take it again. Just use that thing to turn it like that. Just click control C control V again and control C control V again. You can just sometimes drop the line so that they can see that people don't notice like you copied it. Just put it just like that. Then we can just try to eliminate uh, that uh, kind of a hole there. I'll just try to keep it a little bit simple. Just do like that. Then you click this one. Then uh, let's say um, I'll just name it like a door locker. Then I'll just try another circle. Then I'll just drag this one and put it below this one. Then I'll just click option, change fill. Then I want it to have no fill there. And also the top one like also the top one and I want it to have no fill then uh, other doing that I want uh, both of them to have like a little bit of a thickness about 0 0.4 then uh, the second one to also have a little bit of a thickness on it mm. 0 0.4 thing other thickness zero three mm, I won't draw like thing and what else missing so um, now I would like to minimize this one. That's what I have. Then I would like to give it 100% of my background of my wooden part. Give it 100%. Then we'll be like fixing few things and try to make sure everything looks good uh, before we can finalize it so uh, this is how how it looks so far um, thank you so much guys I'll see you on the next episode